gentlemen, without any further ado, Ms. Jeanette Barber. Nice. I want somebody to be nice to me. I had such an irritating day. I had to get up early. I had to go to the dentist. And it started out okay because I, I was sitting out in the waiting room and the Muzak was coming in through the speakers and my foot was tapping because I liked the song. Um, yeah, it was Billie Jean is not my lover played on the organ. <laughs> And, and there was like this 80-year-old man sitting right next to me, and we danced. Um, well, I thought he was dancing. Apparently, he was having a seizure. <laughs> Still, it was fun till he fell over. After that, I just kind of pretended I'd been fixing my hair. <laughs> And then I had to go into the dentist. And you know, remember the good old days when you used to be able to spit instead of having the water vacuumed out of your mouth? Yeah, because now they go at you with a hoover. I'm always afraid they're going to suck out my uvula. I had, and then this flossing thing. The dentist always asks, did you floss? You know what, even if you say yes, I don't think he believes you. He always says, did you floss? But he looks like he's going to throw up. He makes me feel like a dirt bag. I hate that. I want to say, no, I didn't floss. I have never flossed. I'm never going to floss. My teeth are going to rot and fall out of my head. That's why I'm here for you to fix them. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> pushy people, I do, I, especially salespeople. After the dentist, I went shopping. I went into the store. The sales girl says, may I help you? I said, no. Apparently, that was just too vague. Because <laughs> she stood right behind me, the, and, she, and her breath was fetid. <laughs> Honest to God, I got a scar on the back of my neck right now. <laughs> I turned to her. I said, would you like some gum? She said, no. I said, yes, you would. <laughs> I was testy. I woke up in a bad mood because somebody called me and woke me up at 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, why is this? Why is it every time somebody calls you and wakes you up out of a sound sleep, why is it that you could never admit that you were asleep? <laughs> Isn't that dumb? They'll say, hello, did I wake you? <sighs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I, I was just eating mustard. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Phlegm, isn't that pretty? <coughs> it's okay, don't worry, I just swallow it. Um, <laughs> hey, as far as I'm concerned, it's a handy snack. It's already part of me. It can't be fattening. <laughs> And it makes me so attractive, don't you agree? <laughs> That's all that matters. If you're a woman, you gotta look, you gotta catch a man. You gotta catch a, I, I just caught a new man. Um, I put holes in his box so he can breathe. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pity they weren't big enough, but, um, <laughs> but I'll get another one. Cause I love men, I think they're one. Of course, men are the only creatures on the entire planet who you can ask, what are you thinking? They can say nothing and, and it can be true. <laughs> but they don't want to tell you. Men don't want to tell you anything. I lived with a guy for two years. He never told me his name. <laughs> Out in public, I'm calling him honey, pumpkin, sweetheart. Everybody thought we were really cute and romantic. I had no idea who the heck he was. <laughs> but most of them are great. Every once in a while, you run into a scumbag. That's, you know, big deal. You know, it's not a... I ran into a scumbag the other day. I was in a bar, and you know the guy grabs you, and he kisses you really fast before you have a chance to say no? And then he says, don't worry, I don't have any diseases. I said, um, you do now. <laughs> Thank you very much.